Just as Top Gun Maverick has proven to Hollywood and the world that we are sick and tired of the woke nonsense that they continue to feed to us in the theaters, at the same time, woke Buzz Lightyear, the stinking film that they continue to try to push towards us that that they want us to continue to support has continued to prove in, in its second weekend that it is a total failure and a total disaster for Disney and for Pixar. So let's go ahead and get into this and see what this is all about here. Woke Lightyear's second weekend box office hits record Pixar low. This is terrible news for Pixar for Disney and for everyone over there that, there that continue to push this type of nonsense. Now that their woke animated l feature Lightyear has taken a record dive at the box office, the child groomers at the Walt Disney Company must be truly bummed. Other than Onward, which doesn't count because the uh, because of the pandemic, Lightyear currently holds the record for the worst second weekend box office dive in Pixar's 25 year history this is devastating for disney after opening to a disastrous 51 million in its second weekend lightyear earned just 17.7 million which is a crash of 65 percent that is horrible this is a toy story movie Lightyear is part of the most popular and iconic animated franchise in the universe, and after 10 days and 2 weekends, it still sits at a pathetic 88 million dis domestic. Worldwide, it's earned just 152 million. People are not going to see this movie. Nobody cares, except for the people that this movie continues to pander to. People who aren't thinking about the movies that they're going to see, they're just taking their kids to go see movies because they aren't, unfortunately, tuned into what going on in the culture and that is a big shame because unfortunately there are still a lot of parents out there that do that they don't actually think about the entertainment that they are taking their kids to see they aren't thinking about the stories that they're letting uh you know disney and and hollywood continue to present to them they aren't really in tune with what's actually going on in the culture war unfortunately and that is a big shame and then there's a lot of people out there that would go see this movie because of the pandering nonsense that they continue to push in these types of films. So, but besides that, there are a lot of people out there who aren't going to go see this movie, and that is a good thing. The production alone costs $200 million. Add another $100 million for advertising. In order to break even, Disney needs to see a worldwide take of at least $550 to $650 million, which will not happen. That is absolutely not going to happen with this movie. This movie might make around $250 million or so by the time it's all said and done. But that is not going to come anywhere close to what they actually need to make for this movie in order for it to be considered a success. So by every means that we can say right now with, with all of the... Um, you know, with all the estimations and everything, I think it is very safe to say that Lightyear is a total 110% failure for Disney. So Lightyear will probably lose more than $100 million. Yes, Onward took a 73% dive in his second weekend, but that doesn't count. And uh, so, so by any fair measure, Lightyear holds the Pixar record for the biggest second weekend box office drop. And like I was saying in my first video talking about this, this film is not going to have any legs. Nobody is going to go see this in the second weekend, and that is exactly what is happening here. Congrats, great job Disney, way to destroy your biggest animated franchise after destroying your Star Wars film franchise. And just think about this, okay? Think about the very first time that, that Toy Story came out from Pixar, back in what? It was like 1994 or something like that, that the first Toy Story movie came out, 95 maybe? And think about that film and just how incredible that film is and how incredible this Toy Story franchise has continued to be. Except for the fourth one. I mean, that one's kind of a toss-up. But besides that, like, we got three amazing films in the Toy Story franchise. Just think about that first Toy Story film that we got and how much of a cultural icon that was and now look at where we are at right now with Lightyear and look at the big stark difference between these two films and the the messages that they're pushing the agendas that they're pushing the fact that Disney is just full out just admitting that they are totally okay with influencing children in these negative ways 
just think about that. Like, it's, it's it's crazy to see where we have come so far over the past 20-some-odd years. So with all of that being said, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. What do you think about uh, all this news about Lightyear? Are you excited about about this? Are you Do you think that there's going to be a lot of changes in Hollywood after this and after the success of Top Gun Maverick? It's going to be interesting to see. But hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.